Nice. Hi, my name is Tommy Love, and I want to explain how Emily Hartridge saved my golf swing. First, I got to explain who Emily Hartridge is. Emily Hartridge is a British woman who happened to live in England. She puts out a YouTube video every Monday called 10 Reasons Why. And it answers a lot of the questions about the very deep dimensions of being human, humanity, how we relate to each other in the world. A lot of heads of state tap her when they need advice on diplomatic issues. She combines the rhetorical philosophies of the Greek, the classics, the Zen here in the moment philosophies, even the Ungian thing. I have a great amount of respect for this woman. Just as America had Mark Twain and England gave us G.K. Chesterton, America has brilliant thinking women such as Camille Paglia. England has Emily Hartridge. So check out 10 Reasons Why. Every Monday she puts it out. It's only about 10 minutes long. When I get done watching it, I feel like I've sat through a two-hour lecture on humanities at, say, Oxford, you know, because the English accent. So, anyhow, I have a pretty high opinion of Emily Hartridge. So that being said, Sam Snead, one of the greatest ball strikers of all time, he played during the 30s. He was a little bit older than Ben Hogan, but they played together. Anyhow, in this interview, he mentioned that when he plays and swings the club, he thinks about music, and he thinks about the golf swing as a fluid motion like a dance move. And he does it in waltz time, which if any of you know anything about music, is 3-4 time. If you look at sheet music, all that chicken scratch, at the beginning of uh, each line of music, there's two numbers, one on top of another. That's the uh, time signature. Four, four, four beats to a measure, rock and roll, blues, whatever. Three, four time is waltz time. One, two, three, one, two, three. And that's what Sam Sneed used for going back and for going forward. So I tried doing this. I don't listen to a lot of waltz music, to be honest. I don't care for waltz. I don't dance. Anyhow, so I start thinking about names, syllables, and visualizing something. And then I figured out Emily, three syllables. I also realized that the three notes coming down in the measure for the waltz time, it didn't work for me. I went to two four time, which is called cut time. So I went waltz time back slower, one, two, three, to cut time, one, two, at impact. Emily Hartridge was perfect. Plus, I can visualize and channel Emily's brilliance, her towering intellect and her insight in my head, down through me, through the end of the golf club, and Emily can help me send the ball down 280 yards. And it's not just the driver. She works pretty good with the 7-iron, too. Anyhow, so that is how Emily Hartridge saved my golf swing. Sam Snead also said golf is a game that's played on a five-inch field between the ears. And that's just how important visualization of the shot is. So, I'll give you an example. Now, there's a million YouTube videos out there on golf. So, I guess this is a million and one right now. So, as far as setup goes and swing path and all that stuff, I don't care. It doesn't matter. I just want to explain how I got my timing down thanks to Emily Hartridge. So this is how it works for me. I got a ball down my driver. When I go back, fluently, I'm saying Emily's name. So, Am Mill is parallel. Lee is when I'm furthest back and I'm hacking my wrists. So, that's the first part. 
Emily. One, two, three, one, two, three. Emily? Plus, I'm thinking about Emily. What would she be doing right now? How would she be hitting this ball? I'm sure she could probably put it out 350 yards. Emily. Okay, second part. Now I go to cut time, 2-4 time. So I come down at heart. And then ridge, contact with the ball. Now every golfer knows that the golf swing begins from the waist down. Most important part. So, after the Emily backswing, heart, I'm thrusting my hips towards the hole, ridge, I'm smacking the ball with the head of the club, releasing. And then the follow through is, I'm still saying ridge. So, I'm going Emily, heart, ridge, and the ball is sailing down <coughs> perfectly straight. And I'm getting on in regulation every time thanks to Emily Hartridge, who saved my golf swing. So let me demonstrate without hitting the ball, slow motion. So do whatever setup you normally use. Emily, heart, ridge. Heart, heart, ridge. My arms are just following my hips, hitting the ball. Emily, heart ridge. Emily, heart ridge. I don't say this out loud because I tend to golf with people and they might think that I need to up my medication or something. So here we go. I'll say it out loud now. Emily, heart ridge. Brilliant. That's a little slow with the ridge. It's hard to say it and do it at the same time, too. I'll try it again. Emily, heart ridge. Perfect. It's still going. It's still going. Anyhow, so whatever it takes for you, Marilyn Monroe, Whoever, figure out whatever it takes to visualize a person of strength and brilliance. Try to get your timing. Three syllables back, two syllables forward. And you'll have a perfect drive every time. Thanks, and thank you, Emily Hartridge. Make sure and check out 10 Reasons Why every Monday. You won't regret it. And it's cold here in Minnesota.